We know there's a duality to the nature of democracy. We know there's a duality to the nature of democracy. On the one hand, incredible strength when it is intact. What it does for its people to protect and defend their rights, their liberty, and their freedom. Incredibly strong and incredibly fragile. I did not see that coming. <laughs> Going from strong and then coming up with fragile. Why am I suddenly transported back to a dorm room at 3 a.m. waiting for someone to pass a bong? <laughs> But in case her words didn't sink in the first time, here she is saying the same thing months ago. When we think about the strength of our democracy, you know, I think that there's a duality to the nature of democracy. When it's intact, oh, it's so strong in terms of what it does to uphold and protect individual rights and freedoms. It's so strong in its nature. And it is very fragile. <gasps> she did it again. It was the way she, I didn't see the fragility coming. Of course, strength and fragility are opposites, much like Kamala and smart. <laughs> Finally, here she is giving a pep talk to a football team. And you all have taken it upon yourselves to take on that responsibility of being role models and to inspire people. And by doing that, and all that that requires, which is the hard work, the practice, working as a team, knowing that you will be undefeated even if you don't win every game. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Wait a second. You don't have to win and you can still be the winner? Well, it's true for her. Isn't that how she became the Democrat nominee? I couldn't believe the football speech. I mean, I, I could have done better. Yeah, you could have. I know you could have. Yeah, and I, look, I'm not a sports gal. No. But I do know that to be undefeated, you do need to win all the games. That is true. <laughs> I mean, okay, so not that, not that long ago, my husband was watching lacrosse. I know I'll accept all condolences. Um, but one of the players, and you wouldn't know his name because like literally nobody watches it except for five people. Mm. But one of the players was like, if we want to be, if we want to be first, we need to win the most games on the side. And I was making fun of it for days. Mm -hmm. I was like, look at this genius that you have on here that you watch. Like, what else would he say? Like, oh, if we undefeated, you'd have to win all of them. Like, it's too obvious to say. I stand corrected. Yes. <laughs> I, I hate to admit I was wrong, but apparently not as obvious as I thought. What do you think she was thinking, if we can assume she was I, thinking? I gotta be honest, if I was playing ball back then and she gave me that speech, <laughs> I never would have played ball again. <laughs> <laughs>